Today, we're reviewing the Crossman F4 177 cal break barrel air rifle. This rifle features a nitro piston technology and it doesn't have any iron sights. It actually comes with the stock center point 4x32 scope. And today, we're going to put this over the chronograph and see what kind of feet per second we get. And we're also going to do an accuracy test. For the first part of the accuracy test, we're going to try out the Crossman Premier pointed pellets, 7.4 grains. And our target actually shows the size of a quarter and the size of a dime, which is about the size of the bullseye. These Crossman pointed pellets had a lot of flyers, a lot more than I would like. For the next part of the accuracy test, we're going to try out my favorite pellets, which are the Gamma Rocket, come in 9.6 grains. I just tested out the Gamma Red Fire, which is 7.8 grains, and it still would kind of spread out a little bit more than I would like. So let's see how the Gamma Rockets perform. And again, we're shooting at 75 foot distance into the pellet trap. So here are the results for the Gamma Rocket. And as you can see, this is about a dime sized group. Pretty good results. Uh, we're not looking specifically for accuracy right now because we did sight this gun with the 7.4 grains. Uh, which is a little bit lighter than the 9.6 so you can tell it dropped off a little bit because of the weight so here just a little bit of adjustment to the right a couple clicks maybe a couple clicks up and we'll be hitting bullseye so pretty happy with these results and like i said these are my favorite hunting pellet at least now we're going to put the crossman f4 to the test the box claims that this rifle can shoot up to 1200 feet per second with lead free alloy pellets so here we have some of the lightest pellets available on the market, which are the Gamo Blue Flame 177 pellets. These are 5.1 grains, and these are some of the lightest you can get right now. Before we get started, we're going to put 100% pure silicone chamber oil in the barrel, and we're going to see if this increases the feet per second. I let the chamber oil dry out a bit and I took more shots to get a consistent reading. And now we're gonna see what type of performance we get with the standard lead pellet. This is a Crossman Premier pointed 7.4 grain pellet. Now I set up at 30 yards or 90 feet. And we're gonna do some plinking with the Gamma rocket pellets. And our targets are over there. We got a metal mouse. We got Godzilla and his brother. We got some brass quails. We got some metal pears. We got a metal sheep, a little chicken, and a little pig. All right, so first we're gonna try the smallest skillet all the way to the right, the top right. All right, we're gonna shoot right next to it. There's a small metal coaster right in between the last two skillets on the right. All right, All 
right, let's go for some smaller targets. Let's go for the metal duck that's right in between Godzilla and the brass eagle. Let's shoot the metal bottle right to the left of Godzilla. All right, let's make it a little bit more difficult now. Let's start shooting the top coils, the brass coils. All the way from to the left, down to the smallest one on the right. That should be a good challenge. There's one. Those are pretty heavy. They didn't move. At least that that top left one, the big one, didn't move. Now let's hit the middle one. A miss. Let's try again. There we go. Now let's try to hit the very end, the smallest quail. There we go. All right, let's have some fun. Let's let's say that metal duck just flew by and it just landed right there. So let's get some dinner. Let's hit that metal duck right there to the right. Let's see what this gamma rocket pellet does to it. Well, I hit it, but it didn't do anything to it. I thought it would knock it over. Oh, I guess we're not having dinner tonight. No dog tonight. All right. Now, we see Godzilla coming in. He's coming into downtown. And Godzilla's about to destroy the whole setup we got. So let's take out Godzilla because his brother came with him too. Here we go. Right in the center. Godzilla's going down. Oh, I guess he's not coming down. I guess Godzilla's going to take over. Let's hit him again. Let's hit him again. See if we can knock him down. I guess he's not coming down. Well, we hit him pretty good. So let's take out his brother. Let's hit Godzilla's brother, the green, the green T-Rex to the left. Let's put a hole in him. Let's see what this gamma rocket does. Oh, that left a big hole in there. Oh, his brother's out for sure. All right, let's go for the little, that ram, the yellow ram, and let's go along those little metal targets on top. There's one.
Let's go for the chicken on the right. Oh, that's a miss. Let's go again. Bye bye chicken. Looks like we're having some roasted chicken tonight. Cause that duck didn't go down. Now let's see if we can get some pork. I want I want some pork tamales. Let's go for it. There we go. We got tamales tonight. Let's go ahead and hit those golf balls. We got some golf balls right under that metal target on top. In between those two pairs, we got four golf balls. Let's take out the one all the way to the right. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, let's hit those bottom coils on the left and we'll finish off with the metal mouse. Oh yeah. Let's take out the metal mouse. Oh, headshot. Well, there we go. Cross them in there for plinking. Okay, so let's check out the damage. So I already picked up the ram. And let's see. Look at that. It's pretty good right there. Now the other ones, I think, are back here. Yep. So here we have the chicken. So there's the damage by the gamble rocket. Now let's pick up our pork tamales. So our friend, Mr. Duck right there, got hit, but it didn't move. It's pretty heavy. Now let's go to the golf ball. And look at that. At 30 yards. That's in there, that's deadly. Now let's go to the quails, and you can see right there, that's the hit, that's the hit right there, and Big Mama, nothing happened to her. Now let's check out our Mr. Godzilla, oh yeah, he's done, look at this, Godzilla is nozilla, that's deadly right there, it's a big hole. And now his brother over here is even worse. Look at that. Bye bye Godzilla and his brother. The quail, you got the hit down there. Look at this right there. The middle mouse, I mean, is a pretty strong piece of metal right there. This concludes our review of the Crossman F4177 Brake Barrel Air Rifle. I hope you enjoyed this video, and after watching this, you definitely can choose for yourself whether it's worth it or not. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.